Hi, this is a tutorial on how to cast shadows in perspective. So this is going to cover not only basic shapes such as a, the cube, but also how to construct cast shadows in perspective for just about any object you could ever want to um, construct a shadow for. You first always have to establish where your light source is located with respect to your object. This is very important because it determines the direction of your cast shadow and the length of your cast shadow. So you first have to establish your light source vanishing point, which is basically where wherever your light source is coming from or located. So this is the the this is the uh, part of the cast shadow that is, this is the part of the light source that rather shines upon the object that you are going to construct a cast shadow for. Um, and then from there, you'll have to drop a vertical line down to something called the shadow vanishing point. This establishes where the light source is with respect to the object on the ground plane. So in our case, this tells us that the light source is located directly to the left-hand side of this object. If I had instead dropped this vertical line down um, to about here, then uh, and put my um, my shadow vanishing point right about here, then that would tell me that the light source was more located in front of the object. Um, likewise, if I had shortened this line um, to about here, then that would tell me that the light source was behind this object. So it just has to do with the location of the light source on the ground plane. You just have to think about it as being in perspective with the object. Um, if you take a look at the description and the examples in the textbook, that will help further explain uh, why, why and how you establish a light source vanishing point and a shadow vanishing point. So um, take a look at that for additional explanation. I'm going to focus on a really simplified method that I think is um, even better than what's described in the book to help you understand how to construct cast shadows using your light source vanishing point and your shadow vanishing point once you have them established. So the first step, the shadow vanishing point is where the light source is is where an imaginary vertical line from your light source drops down to the ground plane. So it has to do with um, the interaction of the light with the object as it falls on the ground. So the first step that you do is to just use the shadow vanishing point as a pivot point and pull a straight line. So you can take your ruler and do this with your ruler and create a pivot so that the shadow vanishing point is the pivot point. And you pivot your, your, your ruler in towards the object until it hits the edge of the object. Okay, so where it hits the edge of the object, that's where you stop. That's where you stop and you draw a straight line coming off of the uh, contact point right there at the corner. All right, and then the next step is to um, follow along that, from that contact point, take a vertical line up to the very top edge of the object. Wherever that top edge may be, it's going to vary according to the object, right? And then, um, then the next step is to uh, line your ruler up with your light source vanishing point, the top edge of that um, top contact point, right, from the vertical line, right? And then what you'll do is you'll be extending this line to see where it falls on the line that you just do, drew on the, on the page, this dark line here. Okay, so you line your ruler up again with a light source, the top edge of the object from where the vertical is projected upwards, and then to see where that line falls on your shadow vanishing point line. Okay, so when you find where that um, line falls, you simply just make a dot right there. Oops, make a dot. Okay. So as you can see, as you can see, the lines that I have in gray, I haven't actually drawn. I've just um, I'm just using them as my guidelines, and the lines in black are the ones that you would draw on the page. So basically, you just repeat this uh, process um, for each of the corners that interact with the shadow. So 
the next thing to do is to find the corner that's furthest away from your shadow vanishing point. So again, using the shadow vanishing point as, uh, as a pivot point, pull a line out to see where the furthest point is on the ground. And we find that it's right about here at this corner of this the back corner of the box is the furthest point from on of the object on the ground from the shadow vanishing point. So then we draw a line out from that point, okay? And then again, a vertical upwards from that point to the top edge. And then again, get out your rulers and connect up the light source with that top edge to see where again that top edge is going to fall on the ground. Okay? So again, where it falls on the ground, put a dot. And so then we repeat this process once more for the other edge. Again, the shadow vanishing point is a pivot point. We find where it's going to hit the um the other side of the box on behind um on the part that we can't see behind the box, okay? And we see that it hits the bottom corner right about there. And so once again, you'll need to draw a darker line to indicate the um, edge coming off of that edge. Carry the vertical upwards along the edge of the object to the top. And then once again, line up the light source with that top edge to see where it falls on the shadow vanishing point line. And put a dot on the shadow vanishing point line. So the last step is pretty simple. All you need to do is then connect the three dots. And that is how you establish the uh, shadow for this particular object using that particular um, light source. Okay, so the shadow will be this shape approximately and in this, uh, in this orientation. And then you just shade the object accordingly.